Um, I think to the point that you guys were making before, again, I, I, look, I'm a libertarian, and so I already know I'm going to lose. So I kind of have an advantage on some of you guys. Like, I'm not married to either side here, but I think people blind themselves. As he sucks off conservatives and the right over and 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 over, and over, and over, over again. <laughs> with narratives when they're all in on one camp. And to hear you guys, um, the, the Democrats on the panel saying like, oh, the Republicans are in freak out mode or something like that. Guys, you literally just removed your candidate to yeah. go with another candidate yeah. after years of pretending that the emperor had clothes, while the rest of us were all talking about the guy who was clearly suffering through severe cognitive decline. Finally, you guys had- The emperor has clothes while talking about Donald Trump, a guy that's gone through like 20 f***ing wives, f***ed a porn star while cheating on his wife and paid campaign money to the tunes of hundreds of thousands of dollars and then lied about it to cover it up, who tried to coup the election is facing 80 some or whatever the f however many federal or felony charges, who's already been convicted on 30 plus of those charges, who had three other f court cases. Like, yeah, the, yeah, the emperor has clothes. That's on the, uh, that's on the democratic side. Okay, dude to admit it. You pulled Who has there. to pick a new vice president, not the same one that he won the last election with. Uh, he had to pick a new vice president. Like, okay, dude. But what about the hateful rhetoric from the left to the right? For example, oh. for eight years, of Hitler. I've heard people on oh, the left the top do down Thank refer you. to Trump as the new Hitler. Thank as you. Adolf Thank you. As if somehow he's presiding over a Nazi-style regime, which if you, you're too young to remember, perhaps, but the Nazis killed 12 million people. I don't know why he keeps bringing up. You realize that was like at the end of the regime, right, Pierce? That was at the end, right? including murdering six million Jews in a Holocaust. So it's hard to imagine a more offensive or vile slur or more hateful rhetoric than to compare Donald Trump, who's done none of those things, to Adolf Hitler. So do you accept that people on the left have been just as guilty of hateful rhetoric just as and guilty. contributing to the general... Please! I walked. I walked so that you guys can run. Please don't admit... Please, not in front of these conservative cucks. Do not say that the left was just as bad as the right. Please do not do it. Please don't do it. I need you guys to be strong and brave. I need you to be strong and brave. Please don't. Don't. Toxicity of the debate as people on the right. Sure, but I, I do want to point out that, you know, the person who's actually called Donald Trump's America's Hitler is J.D. Vance, his current running mate. J.D. Vance was someone who is very staunchly... Her. I need her and I need him. Please. You guys are my heroes. Okay, he's too young. He can't carry the torch. It's got to be you two. Never Never Trump, too. If you look at elected officials across the board, Democrats have consistently been the ones to calm the tensions. And look, I, I disagree with calling him America's Hitler. Okay, he's kind of saying he just shouldn't have said sure. But if I call Donald Trump a dictator or a threat to democracy, I think it's almost dishonest to not call him that. This is somebody who tried to okay. overturn the election. He didn't yeah, win okay, with okay. evidence that he didn't win it. Yes. And so it, I, yes. I don't understand how it's hateful the to say that he's a yes. threat to democracy Always. or he's moving us toward Always. authoritarianism. Always. And again, Always. I think that the fact that J.D. Vance is the okay. one who said things like he's America's Hitler go to the fact that, you know, you have to give up all your morals and all your values and bow to Donald Trump in this party. But the reality of the situation is that whatever happened on January 6th that got out of control, there certainly was violence there. Donald Trump got on a plane and went back to Mar-a-Lago. He, he was never calling in the military. There was never a chance that he was going to institute a dictatorship in the United this, States of America. This is all election nonsense. And I'll tell you something, Democrats, you better figure out something else to run against because this whole wait, Kamala Harris is a prosecutor and Donald Trump is a, is a felon. The American people have rejected this already. No one cares about these charges that wouldn't have been brought to any other former president, okay? This isn't going to do it. You got to have something of substance. You know, the problem is what you guys could actually run against is that Donald Trump was such a disaster through all of 2020 and he kept Fauci on the job and he kept Americans locked down. The problem is you guys were criticizing him for not locking down harder. So I don't know what angle you're going to find. Wait, wait, wait. Wow, you could attack Trump by just being more conservative than the conservatives are. Why wouldn't the liberals be more conservative than the conservatives are to attack Trump? What, what a fucking politically retarded statement to make. Like wait, 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 wait. The problem is you guys are worse on most of the issues yeah, David, he's bad on. David, 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 be better than that. Quit saying you guys. Everybody opposes Donald Trump for their own reason. Quit saying you guys. And I'm sorry, quit saying we've, those of us who do believe, and you can disagree, Dave, those of us who do believe Trump is a unique threat to democracy, quit saying we've lost our minds. Come on, man. Thank I you. haven't lost yes. I'm absolutely my mind. Lost yes. Yes. I'm old, Wait, I'm absolutely older. Lost your mind. Hold on, CJ. Let me finish, CJ. I'm older than you, Dave, and CJ. In my lifetime, I've never seen a president lose an election and refuse to concede. I've never seen yes. a president try yes. to overthrow the results of that. What's Dave about to say? What is, Dave, what is the dumb comment Dave Dave is going to appeal he, Dave is going to appeal to outcome Dave's going to say well what happened he did leave didn't he didn't he leave it's not like they succeeded he left right didn't they eventually didn't he eventually leave right that's what he's going to say an election you can disagree with the severity really? of okay, that. Joe, hold on, hold on one yes, second. But let's just be real specific here. Yeah, just, hold on, hold on. Just January 6th, 2021. Real specific for you. Or, oh my god you're right. Or he's going to say what about when Hillary called uh, Trump a illegitimate president? Wait this is this is Dave, Dave, Dave on, and CJ, I feel like, are not, are not willing to look into the deeper aspects. I mean, Donald Trump is someone who's had a whole fake electors plot, sent yes. fake electors to my yes. state of Georgia, and tried to yes. you know, essentially take the will yes. of the people away. He had the Department of Justice yes. in the Oval yes. Office demanding that they sign a letter Let, that, fake uh, letter. a DOJ yes. letter that said yes. they believed there was election interference, and two yes. DOJ officials resigned over that. Again, it is yes. it is so dishonest when to say— Every single time, these are the talking points that need to come up every single—
time, every single time, every single time, every single time. Donald Trump was normal or that people are losing their minds when they say he's a threat to democracy. I mean, he tried and went through every single illegal and legal action to overturn the election. And why people are freaked out is because if you have another Trump presidency where he could install loyalists, all of a sudden those checks and balances are going to say yes. Yeah. And one of the reasons Vance, J.D. Vance literally said, oh, if he would have tried J6 with me, I would have come through for him as the vice president. Yes, exactly. Dave, Dave and CJ, let me ask, let me just make Dave, one more point. CJ, and I'll, I'll come to Dave and then I'll, 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 shut, I'll shut up for good. One more point. It's now Kamala Harris All against right. Donald Trump. Go. It's Kamala Harris against Donald Trump. If Kamala Harris loses in November, Kamala Harris will concede and she'll accept the will of the people. If Donald Trump loses in November, he won't and he won't. That is a threat. Well, I just want to okay, make but, one look, here's okay, here's I would say, I want to know like, honestly, they have not Pierce, learned their lesson. Hold, hold on, let me, let me just respond to let Dave, let Dave respond, then I'll come to CJ. So if I were to say right now, I want to overthrow democracy in the United States of America. Wouldn't I, wouldn't I actually send the National Guard? Wouldn't I bring guns? Uh, if there was, if I, if I really wanted to overthrow the government and I picked a way that was kind of dumb or gave me, that would be dumb, right? Wouldn't I have done it a different way? Wouldn't there be a different thing I could have done, actually? That's what it's going to be. That's what he's about to say. Wouldn't I have told the people to show, wouldn't I have called the military? and institute a dictatorship. I don't think anyone on the panel is very freaked out by that because I have no power to do it. Like, it doesn't really matter if I want to do it or not. Now, I will kind of agree with you guys. I, I just thought- Wait, I don't even know what he said. Never mind. he didn't say it. I don't even know what the fuck he's- like, no, like, honestly, they have Pierce, not learned- Oh, he might not be familiar with literally anything that happened too. I always forget Dave Smith is very good at sounding like an intelligent person because he does memorize more like factoids than I've ever seen a person memorize before. But on the whole, he either intentionally misunderstands like entire context or narratives or he's just too stupid or doesn't put- Really, he doesn't give a- so he's just like a, a, um, a partisan hack, right? So he'll know the talking points, but he doesn't actually try to have any deeper understanding of things he's talking about, which is why you get an unfathomably embarrassing debate between him and Andrew Wilson, where he doesn't know what the non-aggression principle is. Holy fuck. Wait, wait, lesson. Hold on, let, let, me, let me just, just respond to- let Dave, let Dave respond, then I'll come to CJ. So if I were to say right now, I want to overthrow democracy in the United States of America and institute a dictatorship, I don't think anyone on the panel is very freaked out by that because I have no power to do it. Like, it doesn't really matter if I want to do it or not. Now, I will kind of agree with you guys. I, I just thought the way Trump handled the 2020 election was terrible. I did think he was kind of using, like, bully tactics when he called the Secretary of State in Georgia there. But the bottom line is that he had no mechanism to actually overthrow democracy. And that was... Wait, so totally like, they I literally had multiple mechanisms. He just doesn't know. Is somebody here going to educate him? Please. What did he mean when he said we, Pence needs to do the right thing? What was he talking about there? Please, 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 somebody. Right, attempt to even do it. So listen, hold on, hold on, let me just finish, because I let you guys go for a second. Let me just finish making my point here. This is the problem with you guys going to this well over and over again. It was never actually a threat to overthrow democracy. If you want to talk about people who haven't accepted the results of, of elections, Al Gore. Oh, then why do, oh, Al Gore, Hillary Clinton. Or yeah. Hillary Clinton, yep. Stacey. Russia Gate, uh, do, say, just say Russia Gate, say Russia Gate. Please say Russia Gate. I'm edging, I'm edging, I'm edging. I'm so close to coming. I don't know if he's going to say it. It's like 50, 50. Please say Russia Gate. So please, 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 I'm edging so much. Abrams, they all like have said these were illegitimate elections or there was outside interference. There is nothing. Is he, he's really going to orgasm denial me? Look, you guys are, listen, just hear me for a second. Consider, yes, they conceded. Okay, so they conceded and he didn't. Okay, so by the magical power of saying I concede, that somehow makes us a democracy. By the magical power? Yeah, of saying, uh, it's not magical power. It's literally saying I concede the results of the election. The guy's president and I'm not going to sit here and claim that the election was fake.